Hello, and welcome to this video on our accountant user feature within Sage 200 Cloud Standard and Education Online. The accountant login is a fantastic feature which allows an accountant access to all of their customers who use Sage 200 Standard or Education Online. This enables real-time connection from anywhere, whilst keeping the customer fully in control. Let me show you how this works. The customer will log into www.sageerponlineservices.com. Go to the dashboard menu, then select site dashboard. Now select the site which the accountant user will be given access to. Click on assign accountant, enter their email address and then click on search. Now to verify the user's data, just enter the first and last name and then click on save. Once the accountant receives the email, they click on register with Sage ID. Then they will either log in with their current password or create a new one if they don't currently have a Sage ID. Once completed, they will be presented with a screen showing that the user has been registered successfully. The customer can check the assignment status of the accountant by logging back into their site dashboard and looking in the user section. The assignment status column will either show as pending or assigned. Once the accountant user has been assigned, then the customer will need to give them access to the required modules within the application. To do this, they log into the Sage 200 application and navigate to Settings, Organizational and Financial, Company Management. Within this section, we need to make sure that the accountant user has a tick against their name for each company that the customer would like them to have access to. Now, staying in the Organizational and Financial section, click on User Access. This is where we decide exactly what the accountant has access to, and this can be changed at any time. You can select specific modules, or you can give them access to everything as an admin user. But please bear in mind that whatever access that they are given here will be reflected in any other company that they have access to on your site. Once this is complete, then all the accountant has to do is either download the application or log in via our web forms. To download the application, they can go to the website shown on the screen here. This is our new knowledge base and is worth bookmarking in case you need future assistance. Click on Sage 200 Cloud Standard and then type download in the search for answers box. You can see that the first result returned is the how do I download the Sage 200 program article. Open this and then click on the link to download the application. Once downloaded and installed, just sign in with your Sage ID, select the company that you want to access, and then you're up and running. As I mentioned earlier, you can also access the customer data via our web portal. This is accessible through any browser, so either on the PC, the Mac, or, or a tablet. To access via our web portal, browse to the address showing on screen now. Once here, use your Sage ID to sign in and then select your company. The Sage 200 web portal is a really exciting addition to the program and is regularly being updated based on user feedback. We're really interested in any feedback you have on this area and would love to hear any suggestions you may have to improve the user experience. To help shape the future of the product, go to the Have Your Say section of the web forms landing page. Here, you can see information on the most recent updates and enter your details to sign up to have your say on the future of Sage 200. So that's the new account user. No matter how many clients you have currently or take on in the future, you'll have secure, easy access to their data from anywhere with Sage 200. Thanks for joining me for this video and keep an eye out for future updates as we continually look to improve the program.